member-elect Shane Meckland. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about yourself, kind of a snapshot, uh, background, where do you live, uh, and a little bit about your district. Background would be I uh, spent about 20 years in the petroleum industry and convenience stores. Um, after that, I got into the trades right before the economy went down the hill, and, and I kind of wish I could have gone back, but that was not happening. Um, through all, made it through that part as a trade guy, which was pretty tough for a lot of us. Uh, we ended up moving out to Becker Township uh, eight and a half-ish years ago. Um, got involved with the party right away. And, uh, you know, different things that are really important to the district out there as well as being self-employed and seeing different things that affect us in the, in the, in the private market um, kind of drove me to do something crazy and run for office. What are some of the issues that are important to your constituents, and what did you tell them that you'd work on when you got to the Capitol? The biggest one, I'm sure you've heard it before, is health care. Health care was, was by far the number one thing, uh, it, with the exception of a one or two week period, where it was all Kavanaugh, and then it went back to health care. But yeah, primarily it was health care. So what, what, is there a singular issue that came about that prompted you to run for office? Several. Health care. Sure. My, my personal health care, you know, we went up two and a half times in cost. Um, and then the, every year as a general tra contractor, uh, we get four to ten new regulations every year. Most of them come with fees, an additional class you pay for, a day of not working. And a lot of it's redundant or duplicit. Um, some of that just part of what drove me. And I read on your website that you're a staunch supporter of the Tenth Amendment and that you'll stand firm on the Constitution. Uh, principles and common sense. How will this perspective shape the way you approach your work at the Capitol? Well, I, I, I look at things from both of the standpoint of the Bible and the Constitution. If it doesn't fall within the parameters of that, I cannot support it. Um, I'm not a big fan of I look at things from going through the economic recession we went through and at the same period our state doubled its budget while we were all barely getting by or, or actually selling off just to get by. And, and so that I, I'm, a, I'm a less tax guy, less government, less regulation and it better fit within the parameters of the Constitution.